Welcome back. back. All right. Back. There is one last thing I'd like to do. I've got around 10,000 gold. I want to get a couple of diamonds for my spell components for resurrection spells. Smart. And, okay. a, and a gem encrusted bowl. Hero's face. Yes. Smarter. He has all of that. So I'm going to give him 10,000 gold. Mm -hmm. Or. It's for things that I need. Yeah. Oh, dude, Heroes Feast, fuck yeah. Plus two, plus three. Uh, it is plus three. Nice. You're high enough level now that you should have plus you, three. We should have yeah. plus three bullshit. At That's least. what my crossbow and my both of my Yeah, I don't do. have anything near that sort of thing going well, you on. You got some dank-ass stuff, though. Well, yeah, I have a fucking house. Yeah, give it a minute. yeah and mm -hmm. a boda bag that heals you. And a bardic inspiration that. mass thing, we which are is super powerful. Okay, so you have the space to start the gate, and you cast the gate. Before we go, I'm going to reach into my bag of holding and start pulling out something I've also prepared. I forgot to discuss with you, but just they're all. You know, just standards of oh. House Frostbeard. Okay. Nice. I'm Mary. I'm Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins ing this shit. Just, <laughs> just pulling them out of the bag. <laughs> and handing them to the various standard bearers. Yep. Okay. It's I'm Mary Poppins. Yo. Uh, you have fucking Yondu. Pulling on the barrel. I'm gonna attach one to the barrel. Yeah. What is the, the symbol? Um, it's the it's the Frostbeard. House standard, so it's just a, a, mu a mug of ale. It's the same as on my shield. It's ironically it's just a frothing a, mug of ale with with the froth no. makes it look like a beard. I was hoping oh, it was okay. a bear with a barrel okay. on it. Ironically, got it. Cool. I was about to. I was pi honestly picturing a mug with a big frothy thing that kind of blends into a white beard of. It. Right above it. I like that. That's better. Ooh, That's yeah. better. So, so, like, the froth <laughs> blends in with a beard. Shaped it's kind of like it, it, it looks like. Eyes right above it. It's yeah, like, oh, that's a face. Looks like he's holding it or about the to angry it. Dwarf face. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, okay. that's sexy. That's, that, that sounds sexy in my head. I like that. That's really nice. Okay. Uh, so, this these troops are broken up into groups of. Uh, at least for now. Yeah. They're broken up into groups of 500. Yeah, perfect. Uh, sort of little, like little battalions, well, big battalions, just yeah. people. Uh, and you open a gate. Now this gate, with the empoweredness, is a little bit bigger as well. Uh, it's more like forty feet in diameter. And you start marching the troops out. Imps and Eisenschmidt are going in first. Because <laughs> I'm riding it. I'm gonna. Sounds like imps. What, what is the what's the thing? Lumos. Okay. <laughs> uh, the fire. And I'm just going to start blowing fire while we walk through it. Okay. We'll also assume that uh, you have taken steps to clothe yourselves. Yeah. Oh yeah, clothing. we're prepped for winter because it's going to be cold. Oh, that was one thing I wanted to discuss with Sven. I wanted like a, a just a random magic item, not attunement. Just it's a random item quirk that makes it temperate, so you don't get too cold, don't get too hot. For what? So I can just wear it and not have to go in full winter garb. I had one in Matt's campaign. It was it was a crown that yelled crown whenever you put it on. Okay. What if one on it? Oh. Instead of uh, like keeping track of like it being active for a minute, it can store like damage done up to say like oh. say like up to like thirty HP. That you can and then heal. and then I can like like I use a bonus, a bonus action, action to, to like pull it all in. I like that idea. I like that a lot. Uh, Thirty hit points sounds good. Yeah, we'll so I mean, start with that. Yeah, see, it's a, I mean see, that's max. Of, see how and that yeah, and, and we can do that like every hit. Like I can yeah charge up a little bit here that's and there. True. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. No, I like that idea. Genius. Okay. That's good. I'm sorry. No, no. Um. Warmth quirk. Well, no, it's actually in the magic items table. That's why I thought of it. 
Oh, I got gotcha. if, if you if you look under the like um, just like for random items, oh, I it's gotcha. it's a quirk that you can assign to random mag magic items, and it's called temperate. He says, uh, "There is no need for that." Okay. And he kind of walks up to each of you, and he uh, he he pokes the the Sven's coffee shop stamp, <laughs> and it gets I all warm. And it gets all warm, and like you feel warmth. I love Sven. How fucking convenient. I'm only giving the kiss. Okay. Like on the mouth and everything? Just like a big like thank you, like mwah kiss. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that. Like, okay. You're welcome. <laughs> now, I must go. Thank you, Llama Man. My name is Sven. <laughs> thank you, Llama Man. You're not a god yet. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna toady. <laughs> what? Do you, he doesn't know that yet. You're not a god yet. It's like, <laughs> what? See, he's, we're, we, I bowed down to him when we first got back. Now you said he's going. He's not yeah. a god yet. He's he's starting to really. He's gonna piece things together here real soon. <laughs> he walks. He he walks around. He hits the same button, and his shop like folds back up into the wagon. And he There's a single dwarf it. like. Wait, that was a dwarf. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. I will see you all later. And he, like... Because he has... When he sits down, there's, like, buttons. He has a crap ton of buttons on his wagon. And he's like... I have business elsewhere. So long. He pushes a button, and it just teleports. Yeah, it's just that's boom. nuts. Bam! He's nuts. He's nuts. I'm glad we're on his good side. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I might not be for much longer. I keep I'm fucking with I'm so him. glad that you guys didn't roll to f have to fight Sven because it would have it it been, been no quick. point. Been like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you lose. I hope we get a wish spell. I'm going to wish that Sven was evil. <laughs> <laughs> that has very interesting... Uh, uh, complications. Uh, yeah. I wish everybody switched alignments. <laughs> Took the complete opposite. Okay. Oh god! Mirror, so, mirror alignment. So it would be lawful evil. Yeah. Everybody took mirror. Everybody. Well, if in it was the a universe. mirror alignment, yeah. But if it was complete opposite, you'd be chaotic evil. Oh, you're chaotic good, right? Yeah. Oh, good. I thought. I thought. It, yeah. I thought we'll you just mirror it. Right there. I'm not a paladin. <laughs> all right. So we're all good. Yep. Everybody's marched off. Crazy. We're in the uh, often often in the distance because you arrive on this kind of snow tundra, snowy tundra, um, a la Icewind Dale, and kind of off going to Tin Town. In the f distance, you see a series of uh, tents made of. Hide, and there's a couple of campfires. Now, now, this is kind of a ways off, and you can kind of just barely make it out what it is, as far as the fact that there's multiple tents. And I think Sai would probably be the only one that that could see any kind of minute sort of details, uh, as far as that there are fairly sizable humans traipsing about uh, wearing for how the weather is up here not really a whole lot of clothes uh, they're all kind of you see some paint on a few of them uh, or what you assume some, some, some sort of paint. war paint and they're just going about their business uh off in the, uh, everyone give me perception checks. Will this count for play passive? Or it, it can. Well, um, but. I mean, it's like as, I'm, as we're walking up, that's probably what that was. Yeah. You just kind of glance off and saw that. Yeah. See the smoke rising from campfires and stuff. Hey, yeah, roll my passive at 25. <laughs> <laughs> passive. Yeah, no, it's ridiculous. Your passive is stupid. Yeah, way better. So what is that? Oh, uh, it's twenty-eight. 
Twenty eight. Nice. Hey, uh, oh, 13. Eli. Yes, looks like yeah. Do I get uh, I get advantage on that with the Sentinel Shield, right? Sentinel Shield, you get yes, perception checks and uh, initiative, you get advantage. Okay, so twenty one for Ulfgar and twenty two for Evander. Okay. What did Imsh get? That's what I get. He was rolled a natural he'll, two. He rolled a no. He rolled a two. He has, he has, <laughs> yeah. no, he has nothing. He has no wisdom or intelligence. He has no perception bonus, so he rolled a two. He's he gives no no craps whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's 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 a vehicle right now. Doesn't you matter. all hear a horn? Go on. <laughs> yeah. In the distance. Uh, Cause you got a nice, huge group of people. Watch too much. Big of ass army. Big yeah, yeah, ass army. It'd be hard to just up. show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rockin', yeah. Rockin', sockin' cats go. Nah, it rock, really is just like a rockin', rockin', sockin' robot fight. Out. And Rosie Cat's all vocal. She's always vocal. She's a, she's the meowiest cat. And they're like, oh, there's a person over here. Let's be and friendly. <laughs> initially, it's it's unclear, but you start to see them coming. You see groups of individuals coming. Uh, what you did notice before is that some of them have steeds of sorts. Uh, many of them are riding bears. Okay. Um, go, can can you go up there with them, please? What do you think I can pass? Well, no, I mean, you, you you're riding a bear. They're riding bears. Oh wow, they're riding bears. <laughs> so you want me you want me to roll yeah. like a deception thing and like like see uh, if I can do, just to see if you can parlay with them. Many of them are riding bears. Uh, a lot of them are, are just kind of running. First off, do you speak the language? Second off, do you look along. anything like them? Well, I have a hat. And they get first off, do you speak their language? I don't. I don't know what they're saying. They get pretty close, and then one of them strides. Ahead. Also, uh, I'm leading the pack pretty much too, because those the first one through me and Imsh were. And yep. this is a uh, this is a half orc fellow. Whoa! You, you notice from this distance that a lot of them are actually just really big humans, but you also see you see a few Goliaths, you see a few half orcs, and this particular half orc comes up and. You notice a few very interesting traits. The first is that he has uh, a lot of scar tissue just all over, all over from various cuts. Oi, and bend things. down! Another thing you notice is that get back he has two robotic arms. What? Beneath it's Santar. Beneath you his. Bastard. Beneath his regular arms, like he has four arms. What? It's freaking My Santar. It's arms. Santar. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna old. real quick. I'm gonna cast tongues on Eisenschmidt. Yes. Okay. What are Ragnar's uh, doing? Huh? What are Ragnar's doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll be your boy Ragnar. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Fast game stuff. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's fast game stuff. Yeah. I am. He, he kind of hops off of his, and his bear is is white, like a, like of the polar bear yeah. variety. Um, there are various ones. Um, he kind of hops hops off and stands up, and he's he's a good. Seven feet tall. Like he's he's a big guy. He says, <sighs> what is what is um, sh- he's he's half work too. Yeah, he is six six. But he's half work. But he's a bear yeah, right now he too. Is half work, yeah. So I'm. I, uh, greetings. I am King Santa. What brings you to our lands? Uh, King, I bow a little bit. Um. Give me a second. Hold on. And I'm actually going to unstrap the barrel. And I'm going to, you know, set it aside. Take it, like, back. And then, like, I'm telling him to hold on. I, I think I persuade him enough. 
and I smack Imsh. And I said, Change him. Change him. He's Imsh. Change him. Or did Imsh change out of orc form? Change him. Or bear form? You have to persuade him. You would have to persuade him. That's going to work. Give me, give me a persuasion check. <laughs> and a wisdom <laughs> saving throw. You rolled a natural 17. That's a 36. I also rolled a natural 17. That doesn't help you. With a wisdom saving throw is a 17. Well, it's not against like a wisdom saving throw. It would be uh, insight. But needless to say, oh, he's very persuasive. Uh, yeah. 34? 36. 36. He counted yeah, them himself. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, he, he yeah, so That's like all the charisma Imch, points. Imch is going to, uh, you know, she's like, okay, and he kind of turns turns into his, his half of the form. Look at him, you're a bit ugly like that. Yeah. You should stay a bear. <laughs> What's, uh, Greetings, King. King. San, San Tax. San Santar. Santar. Santar, sorry. And then I take a little drink and I kind of waffle just so he knows. <laughs> uh, gotcha. <laughs> What, I'll ask again, uh, what brings you to our lands? Oh, well, I, I actually uh, don't think, think that I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm too... Uh, he uh, speaks common, by the way. It's not a kind of crazy language. Oh, I should probably change well, my language then. Um, well, no, for the next hour... I was speaking hour, whatever, half Well, no, whatever, for the next hour, anyone who speaks a, a language can understand you. Mm. Damn it. I thought I was Any language. Something. Um... Which is helpful. We, we... He kind of narrows his eyes at you because you're a drow. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to step up and just... Step down. Something about you apples. Have, apples. You death elves. Apples. He's a friend. Apples. Apples. He's not... Fr he doesn't live in the Underdark and he's a bit of a drunk. Apples. Yeah, he's here. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> with us. I am Ulfgar Frostbeard. Oh, that's it. Frostbeard. That's uh, not what it is. Uh, yeah, no, it's for frost. We have, have not been dwarfs here in uh, long counting of years. Many we're, generations. We're here to remedy that. We've come to take back Snyar. I told you that had something to do with apples. I'm gonna I... smack you in the face. What? Not you, him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's funny. I laughed a little uh, bit. That was funny. No, no. Uh, Apple Snar? Apple Snar. <laughs> apple Snar. Just say apples. What apple Snarf. That? that is the Dwarven homeland, or one of them. One of the first Dwarven kingdoms. Big fortress, most likely covered in ice. Huh. Can't miss it. Mostly, Most likely something evil in there. Demon-ish. Okay. And you've brought an entire army to deal with it. I. We go for overkill rather than underkill. <laughs> There's no. What kill are you fighting? Like overkill. We don't know. I was hoping you might be able to tell us since you live here. Well, well we don't know if he lives uh, here or not. Every time we come near this mountain, uh, we call it the the demon's tooth. What? Well, that's not promising. Uh, well, where are you guys from then? The demon attacks. Where, where, uh, where, varying types. Where, where do you guys hail? Usually just the little squishy ones. King Those Sand. Are fun to kill. King, King, they are. King, King Santar. Yes. Where, where are you guys from? If you, if every time you come around this mountain. We are in this territory. This is your territory. Yes. All right. Snow covered lands. All of them. For the most part, yes. What of the dark place? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> if we're here to take it over, no. <laughs> Everything the light touches. We it's do not venture into the mountains. So would generally. you? Would you call them fair game if we are willing to strike a deal? Certainly. Since I guess they are your territory. We. Or do you just not want them? them? We will take them as a donation. We, we don't uh, we don't own the mountains no are ye up for some killing of demons more demons bad mm -hmm. things we not have, me 
We have beer. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> That's fair. Not me. We have beer. Mm. Here. Do not give them death down. I'm not. <laughs> he pulls out. I'm actually pulling, at pouring your, oh, your good. actual brew. He pulls out a, uh, a a great axe. Actually, he has two. Damn. His four arms. So General Grievous. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm picturing in my mind. General he can, Grievous. He can two hand wield two weapons. Cool. Please tell me you're up for some killing and not any of us. He doesn't want to kill me. I see no reason to kill any of you. I like you already. You seem the honorable sort. Aye, cleric. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Drink is not so honorable, but... Oh, whatever, he owes the you are You are a death elf. He did. What is that supposed to mean? What are you saying? You dark elves. <laughs> Calm down, drunky. Do you not know that death elves are generally <clears throat> disliked everywhere that you go? Everyone seems to like me. Well. And I've only come across one other dark elf this whole time, and everyone seemed to like her, too. <laughs> Your brother was an asshole. He wasn't even in this plane. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother was an asshole. Uh, yep. That's funny. Hey, you taught me draconic. Well, shit, Olkar wasn't there for that anyway. Yeah, but he did teach you draconic. He did because I sacrificed his soul to come back to life. <laughs> Typically, no, we don't enter the mountains because. Usually on the outskirts, the, the weaker variety of demons are more prevalent, you know. Uh, the stronger ones are further in. But, with the size of your force, we could perhaps work something out. Because we plan to stay around after we've cleaned the place out. And it would be useful to have some reliable contacts in the area. Some alliances. Agreed. We'd rather not kill one enemy and have to fight another. Agreed. And we're not too and different. you can provide us with improvements on weapons, on Oh, I. That sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to reach out to and just like hesitantly like just showing him just empty hand and touch one of his axes and cast magic weapon hmm. what does he, that do to a magic weapon what I don't know it? if they're already magical they it just gives it they are already magical he has robot arms I think he has <laughs> magical weapons <laughs> no shit he does I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach out and touch Imps who is a half orc and turn him back into a bear <laughs> you're just gonna polymorph him no, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like nudge him real quick and just like kind of like throw my voice <laughs> and like kind of like a sleight of hand performance sort of check and just like like turn him into a bear. What is your name? And he's he's like addressing him. Yeah. I'm not playing him, so I'm gonna shout. Of course, playing him. The push the like smasher. Interesting. Can you transfer that? Ooh. Ooh. I don't think anyone's ever asked him that question. Ooh. Don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he's. I, I don't think he's bitten anything. I'll say. <laughs> he's he, never like, he never has ever. to. Does, does he, he never know like, how that works? He's got a 10 yeah. intelligence. Of course not. Okay, I don't know. Never tried. <laughs> never tried. <laughs> <laughs> I like your um, croc helmet. It is pretty nice. It's, it's, it's nice. He never uses that either. No, nope. yeah. he's got a, what? Yeah, he's a crocodile. He put it. Helmet. He put it on. <laughs> they killed a crocodile like 
a long time ago. We did the M special. One, he threw me on top of it. He took his head and made a helmet that would give him some like bonus light damage. And never used it. And just never used it. <laughs> It's just been in the bag of holding forever. As you do. What? Uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, actually, let's just go ahead and, and cycle through. So, right, we're back. Later. 